Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the first graph which is the constant function. Constant function is actually a straight line. So if you have uh, fx, right, fx equals to uh, 4, right, uh, fx equals to negative 3. So this is actually all is represent uh, y equals to 4. And this is represent y equals to negative 3, right? So, if you sketch the graph for constant function, it's very, very easy, right? Very easy. So, y equals to 4. So, you know that 4, it will be a horizontal line, right? Uh, it will be the horizontal line, y equals to 4 here. So, to read the domain and range, uh, the domain and range for this function, so the domain will be negative infinity to infinity, right? Because anywhere, negative 1, any value of x, there is a graph, right? So that's the meaning here. So range, uh, range, there are no graph, no graph here, right? You see along the y-axis, no graph, except for this point here, the 4 here. Other than that, there are no graph. So there is only, the range, there is only 4. Only y equals to 4, right? The output is only y equals to 4 for all the input here. Means that for all the value of x, the value of y is 4, right? So same thing for this. So if you sketch the graph, negative 3, right? Uh, negative 3. So you have negative 3 here. So y equals to negative 3. So your domain will be still be the same, negative infinity up to infinity. Because let's say you have uh, okay, ne uh, negative 3, right? So you, oh sorry, it's here. So if you say 1, 1, the value of y is still negative 3. 2, uh, if you said 2, the value of y is still negative 3. Means anywhere, the, any value of x, any value of x, there is a graph, right? So there, but for any value of x, any value of x, there is only one value of y, which is three, right? Uh, which is three. So and okay, this is the this is how we read the domain and range for a constant function.